Uh, hi, I'm Phil Grove with Love American Homes, and today we're going to talk about the top investor mistakes. Um, if you're an investor for a while, you're bound to make mistakes, and uh, the best way to avoid mistakes is to learn from your mistakes, but even better than that is to learn from other people's mistakes, because that tends to be a, a, a little less expensive of a lesson. Um, so over the last six years, uh, my partner and I have collected uh, a whole bunch of mistakes from working ourselves in this business and working with others, and we've actually put all of these in a little book we call the Top Investor Mistakes, and I'm going to go through some of those mistakes with you today. Uh, today let's talk a little bit about uh, condominium mistakes and uh, some of the common mistakes investors make when investing in, in condominiums. Now I know in my own opinion uh, the first mistake that you can make investing in condominiums is, is investing in condominiums. Um, I'm a pretty big believer that condominiums are not very good uh, investment vehicles. Um, they kind of have always been the canary in the coal mine. You know, when condominiums are easy to sell, you can sell anything. Uh, but as a general rule, they're the first thing to go uh, and the last thing to come back. Uh, so you can really kind of test where you are in the market cycle by looking at the health of the condominium market. Um, there's a lot of different factors that go into investing in condominiums. Now certainly if a, a rising market will lift all ships and people who have made money in condominiums simply because uh, they bought them at times when you could buy and sell anything. Uh, one of the most common uh, problems uh, with condos is people never take into consideration the condo fee. One of the reasons we say that condos are difficult to sell compared to other investments is because of the condo fee. Most buyers buy fundamentally based on the monthly payment. They, they want to buy a property that costs them $1,200 a month. And you get so much house or so much condo for $1,200 a month. But when you add in the condo fee, you know, the condo fee might be 100 or 200 or 300 or more dollars on top of uh, all of the other expenses uh, to, to buy a property. And that just basically means that the, you know, corresponding, uh, you know, $150,000 condo compared to the $150,000 house, that condo is going to have an extra 100 200 or $300 a month tacked on to the monthly payment, which makes it a much less affordable uh, investment compared to the same priced house. Now people will argue, oh yeah, but the condo fee includes, you know, taking care of the grounds and the property and things like that. That's technically true, but that's never how buyers see it. Buyers just see it as, you know, this property is going to cost me $1,500 a month versus this other property which is going to cost me $1,200 a month, and they're going to go for the $1,200 property every single time. So. Condos can be very difficult to sell in a difficult market. In fact, they can be difficult to sell even in a good market, but the bottom line is there's a lot of reasons why condos traditionally are not very good real estate investments. If you'd like a complete list of about a dozen different problems investing with condos, uh, take a look at our product or check out our website in general. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Phil Grove, Love American Homes.